All right, we are back with another e-commerce review. My name is Antonio Sunquist. I'm one of the co-founders of Active, I'm here with my co-founder Daniel and our boy Jeremy. Uh, we are a direct consumer growth partner. You know, we partner with early stage e-commerce founders and really help grow their brands online. That's something that we love doing. And today we got a amazing company. I'm seeing these guys, I'm, I'm pumped to go into their site and, and kind of do a little review because uh, when you sent me this earlier, I was like, okay, I, I'm not in the market for this product, but I love it. I love it. I love the brand. So let's dive in today. We got Bloom Baby. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's jump in here. Sweet. So we always start off to look at like what we're going to see when we land on the, on the page. This is pretty important because if you have done anything, you know that you, you need a pop-up on the on your page when people come to just capture their information what they're doing well and i think it's an interesting thing they're asking for their due date i think normally i would say less is more in terms of form fields but when you're talking about somebody who's going to be a parent or expecting um i do think that it's important that you add this and i think a due date they they're going to be okay with giving you this information and i'm guessing with a due date they're also including some different offers that get closer to your due date. They might set up some type of, uh, some, maybe they're using Clavio, who knows what, what type of email marketing uh, platform they're using, but they're likely setting up some flows, which I think is really smart. Um, they're asking for the due date, they're asking for the email address, and they're also asking for the phone number. Um, that's definitely a lot of information to, to ask for. I think getting the phone number is good because I think what we've seen with some of the brands we work with is SMS marketing is continuing to expand. So adjusting and switching over to get people's phone number, I think is a really smart idea. Uh, I do think it's a little much uh, in terms of the information you want, but you know, do what you can, I guess. Yeah, you know, on this, on the pop-up itself, I think um, first and foremost, join the Bloom family I love because it's the, you know, the, the branding, it's there the brand identity there that's played into with the family name and like all that makes you feel safe and so because of that asking for this information i actually didn't get the impression that it was too much i got the impression that i was like okay join the bloom family and then these guys are like they're asking me this information because they care you know that's the vibe that i got um and i think in this case it doesn't work in all cases like you're saying um, but I think in their case, it actually plays into their favor a little bit. Yeah, and, and I think the phone number is optional, I think. So you don't need to, you, and again, okay, they're doing a great job. So easy family mm -hmm. is the coupon code. You don't even have to leave. You don't have to go on your email. This yep. is excellent. So you literally can use this to get your 10% off get 10% off your first purchase, $150 a month. They're first yeah. off, and then the call to action shop now. Like and that, uh, real quick on that note too, you know, that's a little note to people out there watching this. It's maybe a couple of years ago, it was in, we were performance marketing and digital marketing and all that was getting into the, you know, how do we trick people? How do we get people on the list and all this stuff? But as we're seeing the world evolve, and especially as we see a lot of marketing dollars allocate towards the purchase and post-purchase, uh, you got to think about the long game and you got to think about like, how can I make a good impression with this person who's first coming in, in contact with my brand? And for the fact that they gave you the promo code right away, some people might be like, oh, well, they're not going to look at the email, but you know what? It's a gesture of good faith on their part. And, and I actually really respect it. Um, yeah, going to the page here, um, again, branding on point here. Uh, the high word bloom thing is kind of like, you don't really see that a lot. At first I was like, hmm, I wonder what do I think about that? But honestly, I think with their brand, it actually really works. I would be curious uh, what they had in terms of other uh, copy that they could test for this this uh, sub, or I don't know if you want to call it a sub headline, but the modern high chairs, cribs and bouncers. I mean, it specifically on the latter half that fit your style. I, I'd be curious to see some copy variations on that end. Um, Cause I think the modern high chairs, cribs and bouncers is like, is perfect. It gets exactly what the, what the product and the product suite is. Um, 
but that last kind of anchor or latter half of like what the value is, I definitely would be curious. It's I'm not against it, but I would be curious to see some other variations there. Yeah. I think they're just knocking it out of the park in general with, um, you know, how it's making me feel mm -hmm. when I go, you know, right away, like you were talking about the family aspect of it. I, I love that. <clears throat> and then when you click into here, as you're scrolling down, it's just re kind of reasserting that family vibe. Mm -hmm. And I think that just, I, I really like how that's playing on each other. And obviously they're you know, pictures, branding, all this stuff is just looks, it, to me, it looks really, really good and clean. <laughs> yeah. That influencer call out too is, is, is a really good touch, I think. It, yeah, yeah. Like this is incredible because you've got Supermodel, Supermodel Petra Nemkova, and maybe I'm saying it wrong, but as seen and hello. So not only was she, is she using the product, but also it's mm -hmm. featured in the magazine. Like that is pretty awesome. I, I at first was like looking at this, like, eh, a lot of people probably, I don't know what this idea is. Some people probably do. I'm sure a lot of people do. Maybe she's, an, she's probably an influencer. So she doesn't know, like people know, but like, I was like, I'm not sure, but I actually think this is kind of smart. It shows what she's using, how she's using it. I don't even, you know, even if they sent it to her free, I don't really care because it's pretty awesome that they did this. Uh, the other thing I agree, the family photos, multicultural, but I think this is nice because you're showing multicultural, you're showing families, showing different, different type of environments. This is like a dark modern. This is very light and woody and like farmhouse -y. and like it's using all these different types of backgrounds and, and settings which goes to show that they can do the modern high shit high check cribs and bouncers that fit your style honestly i'm going to walk back what i said about that headline because that as we're diving into this and looking at these different assets on the site i'm like that is the value prop that is the thing it's like and you know think about it like to on their end they're probably like oh my god there's so many like boring high chairs and bouncers that just looks like they're from Toys R Us and just basic. But like, not everyone's home looks the same. Like people have different home settings and different aesthetics. And I'm sure that that, that was their thing. They wanted to create a product that kind of could fit to everyone's style. And so I, I take back what I said before, I actually. I, uh, quick question for you guys. So scroll down a little bit to the, the influencer portion of it. So. I love how they highlight, like, I love the quote that they chose here, how it's highlighting that it's, you know, sustainable. Mm -hmm. Curious if you, so obviously they're telling the story on the front page through this quote. Curious, do you think this is a good approach to it? Or is there maybe another way that they could get the word out about the fact that it's sustainable and stuff like that? You're saying this is the first time that we're hearing that it's sustainable? Um, yeah, and really the first, yeah, yeah, definitely the first time we're hearing it. And then even, you know, once we, we'll get into the products and maybe I just didn't look hard enough or it's maybe just hard to see, but I couldn't find anything else. Honestly, um, that's a good point. Sustainable, that's on a huge mission. If, let's think of Alberts, like they're very clear. Like you go on their homepage, they want to, you know, they want to be carbon. They want to like have the least or opposite car you know negative carbon footprint um but like if they are sustainable and they're on a huge mission why didn't we know about this you know even if there's something up here like or, yes people care about the products but i think there would it would be nice to have something about the mission or in the headline modern sustainable high chairs cribs and bouncers that fit your stuff yeah i think that that's an easy fix uh, yeah how is the, let's look at the mobile. Um, yeah. So, um, the difference in the mobile is the products show up on top here. Like, and there's images. I love that. Um, this is definitely mobile optimized. This looks a lot better on mobile than it does desktop. Um, and it makes a lot more sense where they have the photo and then the, the call to action buttons on the bottom right in the sections. I love the organization of bouncers, cribs, and high chairs. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and then across the board, I mean, the rest of it's just, it flows really well. I really just like it. It flows well. It's very mobile optimized. I think it's great. I like that best gifts angle at the bottom there too. That was a, that's a good, uh, you know, it's not cheap, you know, 599 bucks. It's, but that's a cool. Yeah. 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 They definitely do a good job of like going for people who have kids, but also people who are possibly, uh, possibly looking for products for their, for somebody that they're friends with or you know somebody who got invited to a, a baby shower or something again th so this product now this product is very expensive you know seven hundred dollars six hundred dollars eight hundred dollars so what do you have to do for products like that is you have to create a long form experience mm -hmm. and I, I know in tony you talk a lot about this where like make it visual make it so it's like <laughs> so easy for me to know i don't even have to think because as humans we're like i need to keep the calories without you know burning them this is amazing i love i love it it's so clear like it's a standalone chair and you can use it for your kid you don't have to you don't have to get a new one from mm -hmm. from newborn to eight years old like that's great you know, paying paying 600 700 dollars doesn't even seem that bad no it really doesn't. Yeah. I would love a video um, on this page for sure. Um, do they have? Do they have a video on the actual? Okay. Here. Okay. So here's like their actual like product product page. I think this the rest of the the product page is the same. So like those sections that you scroll through could become, oh wait, is that a video? This is yeah. a video, yeah. So this is gonna be. Okay. So that's like an instructional video, but I'm thinking like more of like a branded video too, you know, showing basically like taking the assets that they had in those photos and bring them to life um could be cool to see yeah i agree the reviews uh, i don't like this i don't really like this i don't like this like I, what kind of takes me takes me off is like this looks like it just is not looks fake and i don't love that i you know it is says it's verified and everything but like make sure you're getting legitimate reviews because for me like if i'm looking at the reviews as a consumer uh i'm really really hoping that usually people are going to give five like you they might be like having set set up as like email thing i get it but like i do think that it, it's better to show like actual reviews if you look at all the different brands most people, especially if they just spent, you know, seven hundred dollars or five hundred dollars on a product, they're gonna leave a review mm -hmm. um, with some with some insights about it. So, uh, I also think great they have a firm setup that's huge, and also a little chat thing. You can ask questions. This is a really good page. This is almost like stepping into like um like a Macy's or something where they're like there for you and they're gonna answer questions and. And you have everything you need. Like it's exactly what I'd want if I was going to be looking at a product like this. I like that uh, the banner too at the top. The free shipping over 100 bucks. Complimentary gift notes available too. That's again, they're they're thinking about the. It really does seem like these guys have have put a lot of thought into the end customer experience, which is amazing. Yeah. Go to their uh, bundles page for a second. I'm curious. How can I make the ugliest high chair? Okay, um, bundles. Give me a second. Um, there we go.
Oh, you yeah. Do. I mean, it's just there. It looks like it's uh, just for their cribs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much on the bundling side you could do with this specific product, but. Yeah, as we look at the ads, I think there is a lot more like you're looking at specific products. You're not necessarily looking at like. Man, these are cool. Yeah, this is beautiful. Anybody who's into rose gold, they're going to be. Okay, they got accessories though. Look at, look at that below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think they, again, excellent store they've set up additional and you just click it and it adds to the order. like amazing. how brilliant is that so literally the price changes you know and it's all there it's perfect like exactly what you'd want do they like the fact that you don't have to think too much right like it's just you, you see it and you click it's already not at all you don't have to think at all i do they're already like they already did the upsell in the um in the on the actual product page so it doesn't it's not necessary for them to upsell in the, in the slide you know in the slide card or candy rack or anything um and i actually prefer it here mm -hmm. because this is actually better especially when it's connected to the product this is a great way to upsell and increase your average cart value plus that experience of just hitting the plus was very smooth feels good feels really good like, yep. All right. Um, I think we can move on to ads then. Yeah. Okay. Take a look. Ooh, I love these. The videos are not. Oh. or emotion they refresh quick their colors definitely get you catch your attention which is great yeah i mean there are so many so yeah jeff uh you know a lot of stop motion stuff carousel so the one thing that i'm that's sticking out to me though about these some of them have but if their big value prop is uh you know high chairs bouncers and um whatever the last one was uh that fit your style they have so much content in different homes and kitchens and things that they should at least test more ads whether it's video i mean you as we've talked about a million times we prefer video uh showing you know, and that one looks like it might. Yeah, uh, they do have, there's, there's a few videos on here that are pretty like similar in terms of how they're doing it. Cool. And it shows how, like how parents are using it. This is probably one of the cooler ones. Like it's awesome. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they are doing it too. There's not just these, there's a, uh, these are reviews. Let's go down. There's only there's only a couple. I think this is the same one uh, that we saw, like the other one. I think there's only two videos, and the rest are the rest are um, yeah yeah. This is the, the other one. So this is really only a couple of them that are video ones, and then the rest. I think they're probably front. Probably I would guess that they're like the initial, like the front end cold traffic type of videos to get people engaged. And then a lot of these other ones are static that they're probably using for retargeting. But uh, I mean, it's such a variety of, of creative. I think it's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would almost maybe even add some motion graphics on that, on those existing pieces. Um, but it is I'll interesting. There's no... It, most people are going to see this without sound. Mm. There's a lot of sections where, like, you could be giving people information about it mm -hmm. instead of just showing, like you're showing the product and it's cute little video, but like definitely could be adding some different stuff. Caption, you know, 
captions that like give people some insights. There's no there's no talking, so even if I put the sound down a little bit, it's just music, uh, which I don't necessarily think is the best thing. I think you'd want to educate people, especially in the front end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe the anchor video concept too could work with these guys um, at this level. I mean, it's yeah, I, I feel like more video ex and with like text explaining kind of the features and benefits. So yeah, I mean, it's, this stuff is great. And also, just you know, I've beaten the drum again. But with the sustainability aspect, right? <laughs> I think that would be. I mean, I don't. I guess I don't know if that's really the, their message and what they're going for. I mean, it's part of. I mean, uh, what their products are made out of. So you think so? But I think including that in here somewhere. Um, obviously, the cute babies. You know, that's always going to be. <laughs> it's always going to get some clicks, right? <laughs> but. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd just be interested to see how they could intertwine that into it. Mm -hmm. I would agree. And, and to go back to also what you're saying, Antonio, just so people understand, anchor videos are videos that are usually at least two to three minutes that explain the product in a way that's entertaining or interesting or fun. Um, and, and really do a good job of like bringing people through at least an awareness um, journey because they're usually cold traffic. So that's traffic that people um, that you're paying, trying to pay as little amount for, and you're also getting a, a really good amount of people watching at least probably 25% of your video. So that's what we mean by anchor video. It's literally one of the most impactful things you can do, especially now that iOS 14 has come into place. Uh, retargeting is less effective. So your initial ads are gonna be a lot more important um, in terms of creative, especially in social, to really drive people to learn and then either search or click on the, click on the ad, which you really want people to be clicking. You need to increase your click-through rates. So that being said, anchor videos are really important. So I will say that they don't have any, which I think could really boost their sales on the front end um, to get people to purchase. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give him a grade. Mr. Jeremy, what do you got? I think these guys are going to be getting a, we'll give them a 9.2 from me this time. Nice. All right. All right. Uh, I, I give them, honestly, a 9.6. 9. 9. It's, it's a really good brand. They've done, they've done everything that I would think that they should do. Um, mobile friendly, the upsell process is super easy. I think the reviews could be improved and that's just take time, especially if you're coming out with new products. Maybe it's like there's different versions, so they're coming out with new products. Um, but I do think that that like did feel a little weird to see like only five stars without like people writing what they love about the product. Uh, and then uh, getting an anchor video, some type of long form video to explain the product would also be Excellent, but everything else, I love the brand. I love everything they've done with uh, for this uh, DVC brand. Yeah, I think I would also give them a 9.6. Um, I think they're crushing it. I love the brand. I love the message. Um, I think the, the, on the messaging side of the sustainability thing could be interesting to explore. On the creative side, I also think, you know, they've got the, uh, the angle with the influencer and, and kind of that thing, but you know, maybe getting some user generated content could be powerful, especially because it's, it's like all about, oh, people's different style. And, and, you know, I know for myself, I get inspired by listening to like a bunch of different people and their different perspectives. So hearing from like an end user or a buyer, like some getting some user generated content could be big. And then on the anchor video side, I, I would agree. I think getting one of those could absolutely crush for these guys. Um, so yeah, I give them a 9.6. Um, again, you know, this is what we do. We, we, we love reviewing e-commerce brands. We work with e-commerce brands. We love uh, direct-to-consumer, you know, startups. And, and that's kind of, you know, with our growth team, we work with uh, a ton of founders to help them grow their brands online. So Bloom, we're a big fan. Uh, if you're ever looking for anything, definitely 
don't hesitate to reach out.